Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer.com and today we are looking at our Malone Lock Up Cable Lock which comes in 8 feet and 10 feet here at eTrailer.com. This is a great option if you want to help keep your bike secure and attach to your bike rack or to your bike stand. Just something a little extra to deter theft. Let's take a look at how it feels. I do like how I can manipulate it around so I can loop it around my bikes as they are on my bike racks and my bike stands. Taking a look at the cable itself and it is covered or coated with this vinyl coating which makes it a bit more corrosion resistant. It comes with two keys and the way this works is that you have to loop it around your bikes and then come back to the lock. Some have looped in cables where you can just wrap it on one end and lock it on the other side to maximize your space. But here you'll have to use it wisely um, to get the most out of your bike rack or bike stand cable lock. You have the locking portion on one end. Now this can be locked without the keys. so. Just keep that in mind so that you don't accidentally lock yourself out and just twist the keys so that you can pull your lock out. On our bike rack, we have two bikes mounted and I'm using this with the eight foot long cable lock, which I think is the perfect length for this kind of setup. Now, if you want to fully like, maximize your bike rack and have four bikes on there, I highly recommend upgrading to the 10 foot version. You can also use this with your bike stands. And what I like about this style of a cable lock is that you can really secure your whole bike if you want to, because some cable locks just wrap around your front wheel and protect that. While with this, you can really wrap it around everything you want to look secured. So I bring it through the frame and all the way through the back wheel just to make sure as much of my bike is covered by this cable lock. And then I just secure it at the end. This cable lock is designed to be anti-saw, anti-drill, anti-pick, but note that it won't be completely indestructible. It's designed just to prevent opportunistic theft. So if they see that this bike is locked down, it'll prevent them from just grabbing your bike if it's not locked down and leaving. When using this with your bikes on your bike rack, usually your bike rack will have some sort of attachment point. For here, I like to use the one on the tooly hitching post here at the bottom. I just loop it through that loop there at the bottom and then I wrap it around my bikes. So I like to protect my wheels and rims. Let's go around that, then around the frame and then bring it together at the end right over here. Snap that into place and you are secured. I had a conversation with my coworkers where we discussed these cable locks and talked about comparing them with other cable locks. If you have some questions, hopefully this will answer that. So this meeting is going to give us an opportunity to take a look at the Malone lockup cable in the 10 foot and I think 8 foot. Um, Evangeline, if you want to talk to us a little bit about those two cables. And uh, I know you said previously that there's a couple other uh cables that you have down there um, yeah. if you want to do like a comparison and let us know what you think we'd uh, we'd appreciate it all right that sounds great um what i have right here attached to our bike rack and bikes is the eight foot version what i'm holding is the malone lockup 10 foot version and a simple run through would just be that they're your cable they have your stranded steel inside with a vinyl coating and they lock up at the end so uh, there's not that much difference with other cable locks um, it's just which design works the best for you and what you're using it for now with the malone locks how do you th these cable locks how do you think they stack up against uh, some of the other potential locks in the category so in terms of actually locking, I mean, they work really well. Like they're fast and easy to use, which I like. Um, they can also lock without the keys in them, which some people like because it's faster that way. Um, I don't prefer that option because that's I tend to lose my keys. So if I lock it without the keys in and I realize I don't have my keys, I can lock myself out. <laughs> So that's one feature, but others like that. So it's really up to them what they like. 
I like how it's in the 8 and the 10 foot version because then I have my options. I like the 10 foot version though more because you can always just wrap it around a little extra uh, with the extra length if you find you have too much. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, that's what I noticed with the locks. Um, I think others have Kita-like locks, which might be bonuses for them. If you have the Kuat cable lock, or if you have uh, the another brand of lock which matches your bike rack, so you can get matching lock course. But for this, you have to have this key for this lock. All right. Now, as far as pliability and flexibility in the core itself, it looks like it's pretty flexible. You shouldn't have any issues trying to wrap it around multiple bikes. Yeah. Here we, we actually. <laughs> as you can see, we have it here wrapped around the wheels, then we went up through the frame, wrapped around the frame, and then through the bike rack's attachment point at the bottom. So I thought it's sturdy, but it's not too bulky or difficult to deal with, if that makes sense. Right. It's malleable for what you need. Malleable support. All right. Now, I know that, uh, you know, you guys are using this with a bike rack right now and wrapping it around the bikes. Could you also see customers potentially using a cable like this? Like if they have a roof rack with cargo on top that they want to use it to secure that or possibly uh, kayaks or canoes in the bed of their truck where they want to secure them, you know, with the hooks. Sometimes the newer vehicles, the newer trucks have built in hooks. Um, could you potentially see somebody using these cables for that as well? As long as there's a tie down point, yeah. Yeah, that's a very interesting question. Um, for those, my experience with that is those tie down points work obviously the best with like your straps, your ratcheting straps. And this would just be something extra you have to loop through. So it's, but you can use it for that, yeah. I still prefer the locking kayak carriers though, or a locking roof backs. But this definitely could work, especially if you don't. If you're going through an area you don't really know that well and you feel a little bit worrisome, you could definitely just throw this around that and get it taken care of. We actually, in the video, uh, we have this right here in case you guys, just to show that, like, say you're going on a ride and you wanted to stop for a picnic or something like that, you can easily just uh, secure it to if they've got a uh, standing bike rack or anything like that. If you're going to use it like that, how small down does this compact to store like while you're riding your bike if you're carrying it with you that's a good question so it does come with a hook and loop strap which is nice because then when you have it uh rolled up that will help a little bit but i guess this was when your longer cable will work against you because then you have a little bit more to yeah you could definitely fit it in a backpack uh we had it originally um like w how it came and it's definitely something that could easily fit in like a smaller backpack um mm -hmm. so i don't see a problem with that just as long as you have something to hold it yeah i would say this is the smallest loop you can get out of this for uh storage purposes maybe you can wrap it around in your backpack in your <laughs> in in your packs that's a good question, yeah. It's still carry, you can definitely, it's still portable though. Yeah, definitely portable. I was just curious because like, I remember when I was a kid wrapping my bike lock like around the stem of my bike uh, seat <laughs> when I wasn't using it. So it was, you know, like right, under, right underneath my seat. Yeah. So you could definitely like- You have to wrap it around it. You can't just like do yeah, it. Yeah, right? find, a, find a spot for it. It almost looks like with the design of it, it would be nice if they had a second hook and loop fastener so you could do one on each side of the cable mm -hmm. so it holds it tight. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Or I know I've seen some cable locks that like at the lock base itself has like a plastic piece that actually like snaps the cable back into itself. Uh, I don't know uh, if we carry those. I know I've seen them. That would so, be, yeah. So do you think somebody would like do that has this cable lock that they take with them, you know, if they bike quite a bit and, you know, they could leave it in their car. Do you think somebody's putting it under their seat or would you think they're putting it in a glove box? Where would you suggest they put it whenever they're storing it in their vehicle? 
I'd say under the seat for sure. Um, you could probably fit it in a glove box, but I know I'm one of those people that has a ton of stuff already in the glove box. So if they have like it, definitely if this and maybe a couple other things in the glove box, you could fit it. But I would say just right under the seat um, or in the back. There's a lot of choices, to be honest. Gotcha. Yeah. What do you? How do you think this compares to the other ones you guys have been looking at the past couple of days? I know you said you looked at the e-trailer one. I think the Fulton one is down there as well. Um, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Um, we have some other cable locks down here. This one's the Fulton one, and the Fulton one is longer. It's 15 foot long. It also has this neat end, which I honestly prefer because then I get to maximize my length when it comes to cable locks because uh, what I can then just do is wrap it through here and then bring my lock end uh, through the loop and from that point I can then use my entire cable lock and then just lock it at the other end. As compared to the Malone which is a closed loop so then I just have to kind of be strategic about how I use it because I still need to come back to the other end to lock it. We also do have the e-trailer one. Yes, the e-trailer one is similar. It's also a closed loop cable lock. I had the hair cable last year. Um, and that works very similarly where you have to wrap it around and then you put it back into the end and then you have a lock core that locks it into place. I, I definitely, yeah, this one is right. definitely more simplistic. I personally like the Malone better uh, just because aesthetically it looks a lot better and it gives me a better sense of safety compared to the e-trailer one. It's heftier too. Yeah. But the e-trailer one definitely works very well. Um, this one's lighter. Yeah, it's definitely a lighter one. Yeah, the Malone one reminds me more of the, like I said, the bike locks of my youth. So it's what I'm familiar with. Yeah. It could be my eyesight, but I can't really tell. It looks like the Malone cable lock actually looks like it's a little bit thicker as compared to the other two. It is thicker. It is. It definitely is. It's thicker. It's heavier. It's heftier. So because cable locks are more of a theft deterrent, um, like just to, the main, its main job is to look very secure. So you don't have like opportunistic thieves coming by and grabbing your bike because they see this and like, oh, it's secured. So this one looks super heavy duty. That's what I think about it. All right. Yeah, it looks like it has quite a pretty thick coating on the uh, actual cable itself too from looking at it. Yeah. It's very opaque. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think they're very heavy duty. I'm uh, impressed with them. I think if I was to use a bike often or, you know, kayak or canoe and I wanted to secure it to the bed of my truck and leave the bed of the truck, I wouldn't have to worry as much if I was using one of these. Um, Wilson, do you have any other questions for him? I don't know. You answered the ones I had. Awesome. I have a question for you guys, though. Mm -hmm. Do you say this looks like the bike cable lock of your youth <laughs> yes. would, would you prefer a heftier cable lock for you or a lighter one that can also lock and um for what i would be using it for i would want a heftier one because like you said it's a theft deterrent but it looks more deter it, it like it like would deter someone more than something that looks a little like Oh, I think I could probably get through that with, you know, a little bit of time and a good pair of pliers. <laughs> I live in the city, though, so, you know, it's more likely that, I mean, I see on Facebook all the time people's bikes being stolen and all that stuff. So I know people who like, who like to lock their bike up with, like, actual, like, chain links yeah. and uh, giant padlocks. So that's what I would go with personally. Okay, thanks. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I would I would agree with that as well. I think, uh, you know, as far as the eye test, you're going to see a thicker cable around your bike. Um, when I think of something that looks thicker, I'm going to assume that it's heavier duty right off the bat from looking at it. And like Wilson said, it'll be a, a deterrent to somebody that uh, decides they would like to uh, you know, take your bike when it's not theirs. 
Um, and I think there's a lot of customers that, uh, you know, bike off the beaten path and uh, they want to stop sometimes and maybe trail walk a little bit. Um, you know, they can take this with them and, you know, potentially put it around a tree and then lock their bike in place and they don't have to worry about it off the trail as well. Yeah. So that's yeah. great. Appearance appearances matter when you're coming to something that's really meant for deterrence more than actual stopping. It's what do people think when they see it? Yeah, that's that's great. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, I definitely uh, we definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to talk to us about this and kind of compare them to you know the other cable locks that we offer. Um, if you guys need anything going forward, uh, feel free to reach out and let me know. I definitely will. Thank you. All right. Thanks, All right, guys. guys. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. My final thoughts about the Malone Lockup Cable Locks is I really like how they feel and how they look. Since their main purpose is to deter theft, one look at this, one feel of this, and you can tell it would be a huge, huge, huge hassle to try to break through this. So I really like how it all works together. Now, it is a very universal style of a cable lock, which means you can use it in different applications. So it's nice that you have the eight foot or the 10 foot, something to choose between for what will best suit your purposes. And that was a look at our Malone Lockup cable locks here at eTrader.com.